Hello and good morning from New Zealand, where we are counting down to the liftoff of Rocket Lab's 26th electron mission there and back again. Let's delve a bit deeper though into today's recovery mission and how our operations will take place. This mission is the ultimate recovery test. While the team has simulated a mid-air recovery in the past, as I mentioned before, this is our first attempt at the real thing. The helicopter we'll use in today's operations is a Sikorsky S-92 helicopter, specifically modified with an auxiliary tank. The S-92 size and the power of its twin engines are being utilised today to manage the approximately one tonne weight of electrons booster. The helicopter's capture zone is about 150 nautical miles off New Zealand's coast. The helicopter will wait in this area a safe distance from where Electron is expected to return before it attempts the catch. To do this, the S-92 is equipped with a long line with a capture hook that will be used to snag in Electron's parachute cable as it slowly descends over the ocean. To practice our rocket catching skills, we've carried out many mid-air capture tests prior to this mission. These were all operators, this is the LD on mission with a uh, go no go sequence poll. Stage? Stage is go. Avionics? Avionics is go. GNC? GNC is go. VCON? VCON is go. T1? T1 is go. GC? GC is go. PLS? PLS is go. RSO? RSO is go. MET? MET is go. MM? MM is go. LD sub? LD sub go. All operators, this is the LD on mission. Uh, go no go sequence is complete. We are T minus 11 minutes, that's 24 seconds and counting. We are go for terminal count at T minus 10 minutes. From this time, the three word hold procedure is in effect. T minus 20 seconds and counting. Ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and we have lift off. Is nominal. T plus 31 seconds into the mission and Electron is airborne after our 26th launch from LC-1. Vehicle has cleared max Q. Having cleared Max Q, Electron's trajectory remains on track and its propulsion is looking nominal as the mission continues to orbit. Soon. Nico confirmed. Stage separation successful. Stage to ignition confirmed. And here we go, it is happening. Electron has successfully completed Miko, stage separation and second stage engine start. Our Electron recovery attempt is now officially in motion and we are off to a fantastic start with this mission. As the mission continues for our customers, the fairing protecting their satellites will soon separate and fall away in preparation of payload deployment. We'll wait to see that on our screens. Oh, and there it goes. We had that visual and audio confirmation we were after of the fairing successfully deploying. Battery does confirm. Hadn't heard any I don't know about all of you viewing, but the longer I watch this line waiting for that the uh, parachute to come in. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. We've got our first glimpse of it. Absolutely incredible stuff there. We have successfully caught that electron booster underneath the parachute. So that helicopter, confirming again, has hooked onto the drogue line and has captured electron. successful there from the kick stage. So next we will have the Bro-6 satellite. That's what we like to hear. Bro-6 has successfully separated from the kick stage. We're now almost at the halfway point of today's deployments. Now we are listening out for the call that Aurora Sat-1 has been. And there we have it, another payload successfully in orbit. The next you heard it there, the space bees have separated from the kick stage. That leaves us with just two payloads to go. Up next. And that's Mission Control confirming that the ALBA orbital payload has been successfully deployed.